Hello YouTube, Baraki3 here, back with another kicking action figure review. Uh, I got this action figure as a graduation present, along with uh, Orange Lantern Lex Luthor here. And uh, it's really nice. It completes my Collect and Connect figure anti-monitor. It's uh, figure 4 from Wave 17. Yeah, right there in the box, never mind. Figure 4, Wave 17. And yeah, uh, looks really cool, so let's take a look at this box. All right, Indigo Lantern and the Atom from Blackest Night. Uh, the last figure I need from this way for my Collect and Connect Anti-Monitor. DC Universe up top. Classics down here. Indigo tribe symbol there. And then uh, it says Indigo Lantern and the Atom. Wave 17, figure 4, Adult Collector. Collect and Connect piece, the right arm. And he's packaged all nice there with his fancy staff and stuff. And then you got a... Superman, Aquaman, Flash, Batman, Green Lantern, all the mains around of miners like Firestorm, Power Girl, Green Arrow down there, Speedy. Yeah, really cool. And then we uh, flip them over onto the back. Oh, I usually don't show the bottom. There's the bottom. Copyrights. Kind of a lantern symbol. That's cool. MaddieCollector.com. Heroes and villains from the DC Universe. There's a picture of the Atom, Indigo Lantern. Biography. I'll let you pause it and read it if you want. But you've obviously read Black as Night, right? So you will need to read it. Here's statistics. Uh, normally you can read it. I don't know if that was very clear. And then the other figures in the uh, in the wave. I have reviews for all of them. So you can go check them all out. All but the Black Lantern and Hal Jordan. Because I have the White Lantern variant. So yeah, check all those reviews out. All six to build. The Anti-Monitor, who will be complete as soon as I open this guy. Here he is, folks, Indigo Lantern, the Atom. Yeah, pretty fancy figure. I actually really like him. Uh, more than I thought I would. I like him a lot, actually. Uh, he's pretty cool. He uh, comes with the right arm of the Anti-Monitor, which finishes the Anti-Monitor. I just take the Anti-Monitor and yeah, pop it in right here. Like that. Uh, he also comes with his Indigo Tribe staff. Yeah. Pretty fancy. Uh, nice texture to it. Looks like wood. It really does. Uh, it's got some problems on it, though. Up here at the top, the most important part. It has this, like, plastic deformity right here. Looks white. And has a little white plastic deformity there. And on the opposite side. That looks so bad. You don't even know. It looks so bad. And I don't have... Oh, see, there's one at the top, too. I just noticed that. Look, there's one at the top. Why? It's so horrible looking. At least it's uniform, you know. There's one at the bottom. See it? Right there? That white speck? It's actually bigger in real life. Yeah. Not... Not... Not very great. Do not like that at all. But the rest of the staff looks good. The wooden texture and everything. Looks great. Except for those little plastic deformity spots. Where they like took it off the mold. But uh, yeah, and they go layer in the atom. Let's get to the actual uh, figure here. I gotta take this out of his hand, unfortunately. I know. Uh, somehow he got into the Indigo tribe for a limited amount of time. <laughs> uh, during Blackest Night when they needed some soldiers. But I don't see how because the Indigo lanterns are like... Well, you see, they're they're all ex-criminals. He's not. Everyone in the Indigo Tribe is like they became part of the Indigo Tribe because they were a criminal, and the Indigo Tribe reformed them. That's what it all was. Uh, turns out, uh, the month I'm filming this is the month that Green Lantern Nine came out from the New Fifty Two. And we find out that the Indigo Lanterns are actually a, uh... Were, yeah, we find that about the Indigo Lanterns. And they were, find, they were founded by Abin Sur, apparently. And, uh, yeah. Really, uh, cool. And actually, uh, in the New 52, these Lanterns are the bad guys. When they were always so helpful before that. Don't know what, what happened there, but... Yeah. So how about we get into, um, articulation... The head, kind of 
pop back and forth like this. And when it's back here, it looks it's always looking up like that. But when you push it down, it's uh, just looking forward. And you pop it down like that, it can look down. But then when you pull it up, it's just looking forward again. So that's kind of weird. I'll pop back for now. Arms go up and down. 360. This does not hinder articulation at all. This goes 360 here at the bicep. Uh, peg joint in the elbow. It bends. Hands go 360. Uh, this hand also goes 360. It is not hindered by this gauntlet that sticks out. See? No no hindering. Uh, he actually uh, holds his staff better in his ring hand than the staff, the hand it comes in. See how wide that is? Just put it in there and it kind of slides down. And it's really low. So I guess in this hand you can have it like resting on the ground. But if you want him to like hold it out, this is the better hand. See? Yeah, pretty cool. Just, just wanted to show you that real quick before I forgot. Diaphragm, bend here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, pretty good. Waist articulation goes around. Not hindered by the belt. Really great how his uh, clothing doesn't hinder it at all. I love that. So he doesn't hinder this either. Just comes right up. These beads or whatever. When his leg goes out and forward and back, the skirt or whatever just kind of goes with it. And then you have like this thigh rotation here. Yeah, and peg joint for the knee. Just bends like that. Pretty fancy. There's uh, no articulation down here, unfortunately. They could have put one there. I mean, they didn't have to, but yeah. Whatever, not complaining. And then this uh, this foot goes up and down. I feel like they should have put more articulation in the foot because they have this thing hanging down, right? They could have gotten away with like foot rotation, but they didn't do it. They just gave him a little bit of up and down that he gets here. So he goes back like that, forward like that. Yeah. Whatevs, though. How about we get into some detail with this guy? Uh, it's actually really good. Uh, his face looks great. The mask is sculpted on there, not painted, so it looks really nice. The hair is sculpted very, very well, I must say. Yeah, his Indigo Tribe necklace looks good. His uh, shoulder armor actually shines. It shines, that's good. I'm just going to have this cloth here. This is a separate piece, this strap. So it can like move around and it's all painted under there. Like all his tattoos are great. His tattoos look good. This gauntlet looks gold and it has a great texture. Gold, great texture. Uh, something I want to point out, his diaphragm joint here. You push it down, it kind of makes like a little tiny circle. <laughs> but uh, when you pull it up, uh, the top of the circle is above the joint. And so you can actually meet it and make a circle. But if you want to go farther, the circle actually continues its paint on the diaphragm joint. Do you know how great that is? I mean, it looks weird with this little piece right here, but at least it's not a broken circle. I mean, that's really awesome. Like, hello? That's great. I love that they took the time to do that. Really nice. And his belt looks amazing. He's like a WWE Adam belt with his Adam symbol right there. It's a gold all the way around with rivets looking things. And Gold texture. He has these like beads dangling at his side. I don't know why. Just there. Skirt. All detailed under there. Skirt looks good. Looks like rumpled cloth or whatever. Just got, you know, basic red legs. Ta da. Really nice. And then his like uh, moccasins or whatever down here. <laughs> they're, not, they're not moccasins. But like, yeah, this leg skirts. I don't know what to call them. Have these, uh, like, what am I gonna call them? Strings. Let's call them strings. On this, uh, silver part here. The silver part looks good. It's nice, silver, shiny. And these, uh, actually are bendable, so they won't break off. I feel like I'm gonna rip them whenever I articulate this guy, though. But yeah, his, his feet look good. I don't like that these are both the exact same. They help both go the same way. I mean, I don't mind if they go the same way, but could you at least make them look different? They're way too symmetrical for me. Just way too symmetrical. Uh, yeah. I just want to highlight the ring here. The ring looks really nice. It shines, sort of. Yeah, it shines, which is good. And it has the symbol on it, and you can actually make out the symbol pretty well. 
So that's really good. They didn't just leave it flat like the one on my Black Lantern Superman. But now, how about we do some size comparisons of this guy here? Here is Indigo Lantern the Atom with a few other figures. Here's the Orange Lantern Lex Luthor. I got the same day as him as a graduation present from my friend Drew and his sister, who I am currently dating. Ha <laughs> ha. But uh, yeah. They look really good together from the same wave and all. And then uh, we got this Green Lantern Hal Jordan over here for a Toys R Us exclusive one. You know, pretty neat, pretty neat. And then back behind him we have the Anti-Monitor. Oh yeah, the Anti-Monitor. He's built now. Yeah. Look how big he is. They're not in scale at all. The Anti-Monitor is huge. He's like Galacticus sized. For Rizzle. He is a monster. Oh, sorry. He is a monster. But uh, yeah, I just wanted you to see how big he was with the other figures. I will view him next. He is my next review. All in all, Indigo Lantern the Atom is a really nice figure. I love how they painted his diaphragm joint. His ring looks good. His articulation is pretty nice. Uh, he's not really fragile at all. His articulation is not hindered by his clothing. What little clothing he has. Uh, really, the only complaints I have with this guy is his actual accessory and how they were kind of lazy with it and the plastic's a little messed up. Oh, crap. <laughs> and the plastic's a little messed up around the tip. Uh, he's actually great poseable with his uh, staff. Holds well in this hand, and you can use this hand to hold it with this hand. Uh, really nice figure. I'm actually going to give him a 5 out of 5. More than I thought he would get originally. I wanted to get him last because he's one of the more common ones because people aren't. I mean, the Atom's not as popular as everyone else in the wave. All the other characters are like really popular characters, and there's, you know, the Atom. And also, Indigo Lanterns are some of the less popular Lanterns, because no one really knew anything about him at that point when he became one. So, yeah, he was one of the more common, less wanted figures, so I was going to get him last, and maybe I should have got him sooner. But, yeah, he's a really lovely figure. I love him. He's beautiful. Uh, five out of five, and I will see you guys later.